Hi guys, welcome to another Gold Lap Guide. This time we take on Road Atlanta in the mighty Porsche 919 in the latest online lap time challenge. I've currently got a gold time in the top 100, so I'll show you what I did to achieve that. Although this is a short track, the small details make a big difference on this one, so stick around to the end and I'm sure you'll pick up a few helpful tips. So starting the lap guide, you can use all the revs in this car, no problem at all. First point of interest, as the cones start to end on the left hand side, we're going to use some of this tarmac just to the left of this white line just here. And what we're going to do is stay in sixth gear and we're just going to come off the throttle slightly just as we get to these cones. And then as we start to get towards the apex, we'll then start to feed the power back in. So we're off the power, turn in, get to the apex, back on the power again and use all this circuit on the left hand side. I like to get the car to the middle of the circuit to try and straighten this next braking zone up. The next braking zone, just as this curb starts on the left hand side, I want to brake down into fourth gear. Now you want to experiment with where you want to place the brakes here, whether it's just before this curb or just after this curb. Give it a try, experiment with it, see what you think. But be really careful on the way in. You don't want to take too much curb on this one because it will spit your car off to the left. But I'll show you just how much curb I take. Come on in, just get the right hand wheels on the blue and yellow bit just there. I'll show you what that looks like in chase cam as well. Just enough curb there, not too much. Again, we're trying to avoid this serrated bit on the right-hand side because you'll end up spitting your car off into those uh, weeds on the left-hand side. Not ideal. So we'll flat out through this next bit and try and take as straight a line as possible to avoid scrubbing off any speed unnecessarily. The next braking point, just as this curb juts out on the right-hand side, I'm going to brake down into fourth gear and I try and make sure I get the right-hand tyres on this blue and yellow curbing on the way into the corner. So right hand tyres on that curbing, take plenty of curb on the apex and use all the circuit on the right hand side. I'll show you again in chase cam what this looks like and how close you can get. So all the curb there, all that curb in there and all that curb in there. You've got to make sure you don't have two tyres any further right than that curb right there. And on the way out you want to make sure you've got two tyres left of that white line. Otherwise you will get slapped with a track limit penalty. But as I've been burned a few times by this, I'm extra careful on the way out of this one. And we've played it quite safe on this occasion. So coming down the hill, the next breaking point is just where this tarmac starts to break the grass on this right hand side. I'm going to break down into fourth gear. Now there's some camber around the apex. If you can hook it up, you can carry a bit more speed through this corner. So down to fourth gear, hook your right hand tyres into this apex, get it turned, get on the power nice and aggressively. Now the next braking point, I don't really have a, a decent one, you're sort of eyeballing this, it's around halfway down this curb on the left hand side, roughly where this red arrow is at the minute, I'm going to break down into second gear. So down into second gear, hook this apex up nicely, slightly off camera this bit, be careful, back to third gear, stamp on the power and away we go. And as always guys, if you're getting any value out of this at all, then please do hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I do one of these every single week and I love doing them and I hope you find them useful. So thank you very, very much. Next breaking point, somewhere around, I'd say about the 100, 110, 120 mark, um, there's a line across the circuit. Just before that, I'm going to break down into third gear. So approaching the corner, down to third gear. Take plenty of this curb on the way in. Don't overcharge this. You need to prioritize this exit. Up to fourth gear. Take plenty of curb there. Back on the power as aggressive as you dare. Use all that curb on the left hand side. Cut the corner there. And full power all the way down to the start finish line for a 1 minute 5.407, which is good enough for 1.43% at the moment. And uh, 30th in the world, but it's still early days. The corners come at you hard and fast on this combo. If you want to learn how to better use your vision to make you faster in Gran Turismo 7, then click this video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.